This is the math guy, Steve. Let's try this trig problem. So, with trig problems, most trig problems can be answered with three simple steps. And that is, draw your triangle, find the sides, answer the question. Okay, and when you're drawing your triangle, we want to draw it in the correct quadrant. Yeah. Finding the sides, we can use the Pythagorean theorem or uh, Soka Toa, right, right, right? And then answer whatever question is asked of us. Okay, so, so since we're given the triangle, um, then we can find the sides. Okay, we're given two of the sides, let's find the third side. Well, if we're given two sides, finding the third side, if it's a right triangle, we use Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. So again, the side across from the right angle. So here we get, okay, 8 squared plus 6 squared is c squared. 8 squared is 64. Uh, 6 squared is 36 equals c squared. All right. 64 plus 36 is 100 equals c squared. And I'll take the square root. Put your own square root. Don't forget the plus or minus. So c would equal plus or minus. The square root of 100 is 10, okay? Now, since this is in any quadrants, um, then we don't have to worry about plus or minus. Everything is positive. Okay, all positive vibes. All right. Okay. So we know the hypotenuse here is ten. So the question here is just find the six trig values. Okay, got it. So how do we find the six trig values? Well, just use Sokotoro from there. So the six trig values on this theta. So we know the sine of theta is the opposite of our hypotenuse. Okay. So opposite eight hypotenuse is ten. So eight over ten, or which reduces to four over five. The cosine of theta is the adjacent of our hypotenuse. So six over ten or three-fifths. Um, the tangent of theta is the opposite over adjacent, so that would be eight over six, in other words, four-thirds. And then the other trig functions are reciprocals of these, okay? All right, so the cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine, all right? So that would be five over four. The secant is a reciprocal of the cosine, so that would be five over three. And the cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent, so three over four, okay? Always remember, math is everywhere.